Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special edition of Inside Georgia Football with Head Coach Mark Richt. I'm Chuck Dowdle, and coming up over the next half hour, we're going to be taking a close-up look at a young man who has really embodied what it means to be a great Bulldog. Leonard Pope came to the University of Georgia through a preparatory school, Hargrave, came to the Georgia Bulldogs, played great football for the Dogs as a tight end, left early to pursue his dream in the National Football League. And after his NFL career ended, came back to the University of Georgia to pursue his dream as a college graduate. And he did it with flying colors. A 3.6 GPA on his return to Georgia. He's a family man. He's a great bulldog. He's what every Georgia bulldog aspires to be. A special documentary straight ahead on Leonard Pope as Inside Georgia Football with head coach Mark Rick continues during this off week. Stay with us. Inside Georgia Football with head coach Mark Richt is presented by Georgia's own credit union. It's your future, own it. Also brought to you by AT&T, building you a better network. There are certain times in life when things get crazy, like when we have great expectations, when it's time to move on, or when life just happens. And when things change and I need a loan, I head to Georgia's own credit union. Georgia's own credit union. It's your future, own it. Hi, can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for a phone plan. It has to be a great one and I don't compromise. Okay, how about 10 gigs of data to share, unlimited talk and text, and you can choose from two to 10 lines. Wow, sounds like a great deal. So I'm getting exactly what I want then. Appears so. Now, um, I'm not too sure what to do with my arms right now, because this is where I usually start throwing things. Oh, that's terrifying. AT&T's best ever pricing. Two to ten lines, ten gigs of truly shareable data, unlimited talk and text, starting at $130 a month. Fans use signs to identify themselves. The chop. The fork. The O. Hook em horns. But there's one sign everyone wants to be identified with. Number one, fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Ours, just buy another Hyundai. Number one in customer loyalty five years in a row. Show your loyalty using the hashtag, this is loyalty. I know they inspire our players. I'll try to improve from last year to this year, and we'll see how everything goes. Dogs on top! One nil! This segment of Inside Georgia Football is brought to you by AT&T, building you a better network. Coming back to Georgia was the only thing that I had to hang on to because I knew that I had to get my degree. Back, back in those days, you know, we we just kind of, we had all what we had out there. You know, we had each other, you know. But growing up in America, it's, you know, we're a small, small town and, you know, but we're um, a great community. It's just a great town. You know, my, my town has supported me, you know, through all my career, college, you know, high school, and even my, my professional career. And uh, uh, My first memory of Leonard was he was really tall. <laughs> I mean, a six foot eight, Safety, uh, it's, it doesn't happen very often. A guy to be that tall and that athletic. It basically came down between Florida and Georgia, you know. My heart always was with Georgia because I'm a Georgia boy, state of Georgia, you know. That's kind of one of the rules, you know, you're from Georgia, you're a big athlete, you never leave the state of Georgia, you gotta be here, so. He's just a great guy, um, a little bit country, and uh, 
a guy that you knew was going to, you know, love the dogs and, and be a, a great teammate. Trying to, trying to get here to Georgia, I, I actually didn't make like my grades. I had my grades, but I didn't make it high enough for my SAT scores, rather I say. So um, I guess it, it became a time to where I guess Georgia and you know uh, coach and everybody in my high school, they, they, they came up with the plan that I had to go to um, a Hargrave, which is called, it's a prep school, which you can go there if you haven't graduated and you can graduate and get your high school diploma and get recruited, or if you already graduated, you're just going to get your test scores. And so I was one of the guys going to get, get my test scores and but I had to leave a lot behind, you know, in America to, to get to, to where I am. And you know, Hargrave made me the man that I am today because, you know, you can ask any guy that actually, that went to Hargrave that, you know, we, we cut from a different cloth. Well, I think when people go through tough times, uh, it, it helps them grow. And when you go through a situation like having to go to prep school before you go to the college of your choice, when you get to that college, you tend to appreciate everything just a little bit better than if you came straight out of high school. So I think it helped him grow up in a lot of ways. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, discipline involved in Hargrave, and, uh, and so, you know, he he grew as a person, as, a, as, a, as an athlete, and uh, as a student, so it was very good for him. He might not have liked it, but it was good for him. When the journey of Leonard Pope continues, we've got Leonard's arrival on campus in Athens and the start of a very storied football career for the Bulldogs. Hi, can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for a phone plan. It has to be a great one, and I don't compromise. Okay, how about 10 gigs of data to share, unlimited talk and text, and you can choose from two to 10 lines. Wow, sounds like a great deal. So, I'm getting exactly what I want then. Appears so. Now, um, I'm not too sure what to do with my arms right now, because this is where I usually start throwing things. Oh, that's terrifying. AT&T's best ever pricing. Two to 10 lines, 10 gigs of truly shareable data, unlimited talk and text, starting at $130 a month. Together, we're a team, and together, we're family. No place gives teams the brands they need at the lowest prices, like Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right stuff, low price, every day. Our 21st birthday is one you don't want to miss because you could win up to $2.5 million or one of 12 Kia Souls. How's that for party gifts? We're all grown up and it's your time to celebrate. Play the 21 Black Series Scratchers, new from the Georgia Lottery. I know they inspired our players. Well, I'll try to improve from last year to this year, and we'll see how everything goes. Dogs on top, one nil. This segment of Inside Georgia Football is brought to you by Georgia Lottery. Well, Leonard was a guy that uh, was a unbelievable mismatch for anybody who wanted to cover him. I felt like, you know, calling plays with a guy like that on the field, you knew if, if the goal was to cover him with one person, they couldn't do it. So let's get the ball to this guy. Um, linebackers would try to match up, safeties would try to match up. Um, he just was so big and so athletic. And it's such a long reach. Uh, if you put the ball that was where it was, where he had a better chance to get it than any, anybody near him, he was going to make the play. And he had he had uh, really tremendous game speed for a big man like like he is. And uh, 
he was just a, a great player and a, a great kid. Leonard Pope played tight end for Georgia from 2003 to 2005 and wasted no time becoming a valuable asset to the dog's offense. He caught 10 touchdowns, averaged 16 yards per reception, and racked up over 1,000 receiving yards. But his achievements on the gridiron were not as easily accomplished in the classroom. It was a struggle in, in some of my courses and stuff, but um, you know, Georgia, Georgia allowed, it, allowed us to, to have, you know, they put in place for, for us to be able to succeed with, with tutors, you know what I mean? And we had people like mentors to, to actually keep us on top of our game because it's a, it's a struggle. Yeah. You know, you, you don't have mom and dad wake you up in the morning anymore to get, to get you dressed or to take you to school or to check on you or anything. You know, you, you're a grown man now. And to be a, a student athlete, on top of just trying to be a student, you know, you gotta, you gotta be able to, to apply yourself and use your resources and, and be able to, you know, put yourself in, in place to be able to be successful. You know, that's, that's what I say that I kind of back then didn't, didn't take it serious, you know, that I kind of, I get it now because I done, I done been in life and I understand things now, you know, things make sense. So, you know, I overcame a lot and, you know, it really helped. In 2006, Pope decided to make his childhood dreams a reality by trading in his senior season of collegiate football for the opportunity to enter the NFL draft early. The thing I try to do with all the guys that uh, are contemplating going early is just try to get the best information you can as to as far as, you know, where you might get drafted and weigh the pros and cons of, uh, of leaving early and uh, just trying to be really honest with them, with those guys and, and help them make a d good decision. And, you know, from a professional football career point of view, he, he probably made, you know, a, a good decision. But um, when you leave early, it's hard to get your degree. Next up on the journey of Leonard Pope, a pursuit of his lifelong dream, a career in the National Football League. And it ended up being very successful for a seven year period. There are certain times in life when things get crazy. Like when we have great expectations. When it's time to move on or when life just happens. And when things change and I need a loan, I head to Georgia's own credit union. Georgia's own credit union. It's your future, own it. year to this year and we'll see how everything goes. Dogs on top, one nil. Fifteen to two, Tennessee leading, crowd roaring against Georgia, trying to make them drop it. We hand it off to Herschel, there's a hole, five, ten. All I remember is sitting his leg and it was like I hit a tree trunk. It was the hardest thing I'd ever hit. Well, he's running over people. Oh, you Herschel Walker. My God almighty, he ran right through two men. Herschel ran right over two men. They had him dead away inside the nine. This segment of Inside Georgia Football is brought to you by Georgia Zone Credit Union. It's your future, own it. Well, I was drafted actually in the uh, the third round, and uh, that was 2006 in the NFL draft to uh, the Arizona Cardinals. I got the whole community out. I didn't have like no little setting or anything. Like 
we was at Boom Park. Like it went down, like the whole town was out. And I didn't care, I didn't care what round I got picked, where I went, it didn't matter. Cause you know, I had made it. And, and now it was official. Leonard Pope had accomplished the goal of evolving from America's high school standout to an NFL pro. And he knew exactly how he would reward himself and his family with his initial paycheck. I helped mom out. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sit here and say like, that was the first thing I helped my mom out. And uh, right after that was like I, um, I bought an Escalade, like a Cadillac Escalade. And that's kind of one of the things or something, you know, when, the, when you get your first paycheck, you got to get something that you can roll in, you know what I mean, something big. But uh, that was pretty much it. Leonard went on to spend two seasons with the Arizona Cardinals and Kansas City Chiefs before being traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2012. And during the third stop in his professional career, Pope began to acknowledge that the pressures of living in excess had caught up with him financially. On my way down after Pittsburgh, you know, I, I, I hit a, a hard road, you know, because one, I was living check to check, like most guys are living check to check. And, you know, like they say, I mean, we make a lot of money, but like they say, we spend a lot too. And it comes with being in the NFL, you have a lot of responsibilities and a lot of things to pay for. And um, I, I, I kind of, you know, managed, I, you know, but most of it, you know, um, it was being spent paying, paying back stuff because, I mean, you want to, you want to wear nice things, you want to have nice things, you know, a lot of, a lot of stuff comes with those nice, nice things, you know, like, you know what I mean? Taxes, you got to pay taxes. You know what I mean? A lot of people think that taxes don't exist, but they do. After seven years, four NFL teams, an NFC championship, and a trip to the Super Bowl, Pope was released from the Chicago Bears in August of 2013. The former Georgia tight end was only 29 years old, but found himself jobless and fearful of what his future would bring. Well, I know football's gonna end for these guys. It may end at the end of their college careers, it may end a year down the road, it may end you know, eight years down the road. Um, but sooner or later it's gonna end and they're still gonna be young, young men. Uh, you know, in a long career, you might be 32 years old. Well, that's still pretty young. That's a young man. There's a lot of life to live beyond that. So they need to have a plan and they need to have the confidence to know that they're more than just a football player. I get it, you know, because I once were, you know, that, that guy, that, that top-notch guy that, you know, that, that had a lot of um, eyes on me that was, you know, heavily recruited by, you know, NFL teams and stuff. And, you know, I once wanted to go on and hurry up and get that, that fast money and stuff. You know, I get it, yeah. You know, but, um, you know, ultimately, in reality, you know, you can't play football forever, you know. Um, I had to learn that and I didn't get it to really maybe my last year or two in the NFL, but I would say to the guys, you know, if you got a chance, if you got a real chance to, to go on and get your degree because when football is over, it's over with. And you have to have something to, to fall back on, you know, with your degree. And therefore, once you understand that you're on your way down out of football, you already have that in place to be able to put you in place to be successful after football. Next up for Leonard Pope, a return back to college. The University of Georgia, where he'd made such a great name for himself on the football field and now in the classroom. That's straight ahead when the journey of Leonard Pope continues. Down the far he won't the last guy. He well, I try to improve from last year to this year, and we'll see how everything goes. Dogs on top, one nil. Fifteen to two, Tennessee leading. Crowd roaring against Georgia, trying to make them drop it. We hand it off to Herschel. There's a hole. Five. All I remember is sitting his leg, and it was like I hit a tree trunk. It was the hardest thing I'd ever hit. Well, he's running over people. Oh, you Herschel Walker. 
My God almighty, he ran right through two men. Herschel ran right over two men. They had him dead away inside the nine. By the players. I'll try to improve from last year to this year, and we'll see how everything goes. Dogs on top, one nil. Fifteen to two, Tennessee leading. Crowd roaring against Georgia, trying to make them drop it. We hand it off to Herschel, there's a hole, five, ten. All I remember is hitting his leg, and it was like I hit a tree trunk. It was the hardest thing I've ever hit. Well, he's running over people. Oh, you Herschel Walker. My God almighty, he ran right through two men. Herschel ran right over two men. They had him dead away inside the nine. Inside Georgia football with head coach Mark Richt is presented by Georgia's own credit union. It's your future, own it. Also brought to you by AT&T, building you a better network. This segment of Inside Georgia Football is brought to you by Hyundai, proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. Coming back to Georgia was the only thing that I had to hang on to. Well, uh, it's humbling to hear that. Um, you know, I love these guys and want them to do great. And, and uh, whenever they're ready to come home, I want them to know they can do that. And come home he did. Pope re-enrolled at UGA in the fall of 2013 to complete his degree in housing. He finished his first semester with a 3.6 GPA. It's awesome. I bet you, uh, I bet you he was smiling ear to ear uh, to see that grade, that uh, grade report. That's, that's phenomenal. Uh, my guess is that was his best semester as a student, but that's what happens when you, you really, again, understand the importance of it and, uh, and you're, you know, a little more mature and you're able to focus on that solely. Uh, just uh, really, really excited for his future and proud of the effort that he gave this past semester. Life teaches you a lot of lessons and you learn and grow through the ups and the downs. So, uh, but, but it is really exciting to see uh, his focus on education, his focus on his future beyond football. Uh, his sincere desire to be, you know, somebody really special beyond playing on the gridiron, and um, that, that's really what it's all about. In addition to focusing on his studies, Leonard now has more time to spend with his two young daughters, Cherian and Layla, and now his commitment to attaining a college degree sets a high standard for education in his family. Being away from football and just actually having a chance to be able to to spend more time with them, you know, because you know, being in the, being in the NFL, you spend half of your time training games and half of the year, or well, really not half of the year, maybe like two or three months, you know, after the season to be able to have a chance to, to be with your family. But I mean, every time that I that I see them, they have something new that you know to show me or to tell me. I mean, they they getting bigger. Cherry, my oldest daughter. Um, maybe like a month ago, I had when I uh, got her because I had her and Layla at the same time, and she recited the, the Gettysburg Address to me on the way back on 75, and I almost cried because I'm like, man, how can you remember all that? And that was like a minute, like over a minute and a half, like reciting that, and I'm like, wow, you know what I mean? Like that's my daughter, like actually saying it. Leonard Pope has experienced the adoration of being a top-ranked college athlete, the thrill of becoming a high-paid professional football player. Every step of the way, he has learned from both his successes and failures and emerged stronger than before. I've been that, that player. I've been that player walking in with no books. You're the tallest dude in the class, you walking in with no books. You know, I've been that guy. 
as soon as I get in like history or something, I'm laying my head down because I know I ain't finna listen to this, you know, but uh, I would have applied myself more. I would have took advantage of the opportunities that, you know, uh, that Georgia offered. I would have taken a lot of stuff more seriously. I would have, I would have studied more. <laughs> You know, I, I would have, uh, I would have did a lot more different, but um, I think I did a pretty good job, you know, because by me coming back, I didn't have to go back that far, you know, so I was able to be able to, to pick back up where I left off, and I had a lot of people, a lot of people that, that I looked at that kind of helped me. And Georgia always stood by him. Being able to play here and going to school here at uh, University of Georgia, it's, it's, it's a lifetime thing. It's a once in a lifetime dream, actually, because uh, everybody wants to be a dog, first of all. Once they say you, you, you know, you dog like you're a Georgia, you're a dog for life, it's for real. I mean, I tell them the day I recruit them and the day, and all the days they're here and the day they leave, that they're always welcome. And that once you're a Georgia Bulldog, you know, you're always a Bulldog. And there, there is value in having your degree at Georgia and having your college experience at Georgia because it's going to bless you for the rest of your life. And, and I believe that sincerely and I want to make sure that we follow through with that. And, and uh, our administration has been very cooperative in that way. And um, you know, our PO Network event is another evidence of us reaching out to everybody and wanting them to have success beyond football.